Whoa, wow, whoa, wow! Is that the ice singing? Or did a Yeti just sit on a tuba? Remy, do not press that button. Oh no, he pressed it. Run! From the to the stars, where wonder shines true. Wow, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. I'm Sparkstar, the lactic pup, wonder chaser, and certified wow collector. I live on my dog bone shaped space station called the Galactic Spark with my best buds, the Aw Stars. Together, we chase Aw Sparks all around the universe. And let me tell you about this one crazy time we found one on Earth's Ross Ice Shelf. You know, that huge frozen shelf at the bottom of the world? Trust me, it was a whoa sandwich on what just happened bread. So there I was, in the galactic spark. Huh. Ever since Professor Bingley left to teach that banana-powered science class on Europa, everything has been so... Quiet? Peaceful? Sane? <laughs> well, I guess all of the above. Why is that alarm blaring like a space goose with hiccups? Maybe I left the snack oven on? Wait, where's Andro? He always answers the alarms. Sparkstar, I think that maybe Bingley took Andro with him. Why would he take a robot assistant to a frozen moon with no Wi-Fi? You know that Bingley is no good at directions. He'd be lost without Andro, literally. Okay, got it. It seems that the alarm is an awe spark alert. A big ol' sound spark is buzzing on Earth's Ross ice shelf. That's way down at the polar ice caps. Nope, ice pass. The last time my feathers froze, it took me way too long to thaw them out. Sorry, I'm less of a polar ice cap capybara and more of a marshmallow and hot cocoa capybara. <laughs> Well then, Remy and I are going in solo. You two hold down the galactic spark, without Andro or Bingley. Maybe we should have gone after all. So Remy and I suited up, grabbed some space snacks, and blasted off from the galactic spark, headed straight for one of the coolest places on Earth. And I mean literally the coolest, like colder than a penguin's ice cream sundae cold. We were off to the Ross Ice Shelf at the South Pole, chasing a sound spark that was just begging to be heard. Whoa, you hear that, Remy? The ice is like singing, like a giant snow whale humming into a milk jug. Confirmed, that's the Ross Ice Shelf resonance. When wind flows over snow dunes, it makes the whole ice shelf vibrate like a ginormous drum. Super rare, super cool, super loud. That's right. The sound travels through the snow and ice itself. Scientists can study the pitch of the shelf to learn if it's melting or cracking below. This hum is how the ice speaks. Oh, hey there. What's your name? My name's Lyra the Arctic Fox. My name's Sparkstar, and this is my turtle friend Remy. Nice to meet you, Lyra. Whoa, it's like the Earth has its own voice. Exactly. It's all in its purest form. OK, but what if we made the voice louder? Presenting the Aw Amp 9000, trademark pending. It's got 16 megaphones, three super duper terabyte turbines, and one extremely confusing instruction manual. Uh, should we be blasting natural harmony into the stratosphere? Some awe is meant to be listened to, not leveled up. No, no, no. This is going to be great. More people will be able to hear it. Engaging now. Remy! You boomed the shelf! The vibrations must have shaken a crack loose. The iceberg's calving. And those pufflings, they're stuck. They're way too young to fly or swim. And the awe amp's still going on the iceberg. It's literally riding the wobble wave. 
Sierra, grab my tail. We're going puffin rescuing. We dove through the freezing wind, ice cracking below, pufflings peeping in panic as their iceberg bobbed and buckled. Lyra leapt from ledge to ledge, silent, steady, swift, gathering the tiny birds like a hero in a snowstorm. I soared in close, the awe amp's bass still thumping like a rogue DJ on a glacier. And with one final lunge, I pulled the plug. And then, peace. The shelf stopped shaking. The pufflings nestled safe in Lyra's fur. And the ice, so wild just moments before, was still, like it had exhaled. Phew! I never want to hear a Techno Glacier remix again. You acted fast. That's a fancy rocket pack you have there. Thanks, Lyra. You're basically a walking, tail-wagging Ospark yourself. Actually, I think you'd make an amazing Ostar. Really? Oh, without a doubt. What do you say? You want to join us in the stars? I'd be honored. As long as I get to control the volume. <laughs> Understood. Wow, 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 wow! After the pufflings were safe and the awe amp was officially retired, forever, we took one last listen to the Ross Ice Shelf song. This time, we didn't blast it. We just listened. Then, with our hearts full of awe and our heads full of woe, Lyra, Remy, and I zipped back across the stars, heading home to the Galactic Spark. And just like that, we were back. One fox smarter, five pufflings safer, and one step closer to understanding the quiet wonders of the universe. Uh, why does it sound like a robot raccoon dance battle in here? <coughs> Zoinks, it's chaos. Sparkstar, it wasn't my fault. Makes me touch the button label, do not ever press. I thought it said, donut ever press. I really wanted a donut. Well, somehow we overloaded the snack portal, reversed the gravity pump, and installed a Techno Polka playlist. Okay, okay. Let's all just take a deep breath and... I can't believe I'm saying this, but where is Professor Bingley and Andro when you need them? Still on Europa. But don't worry, we've got Lyra. Whoa, who's the Arctic Snow Ninja? Lyra's a brand new awe star. Hmm, looks like someone set the station to maximum mayhem mode. We just need to flip this, press this, rewire this, and... Whoa! You just tamed the Chaos Beast! Okay, you're hired! Please never leave! <laughs> one epic sound spark, one new Ostar, and five rescued pufflings? Sounds like it's time for a sing-along dance party! Hey, Spark Star, let's go way down south where the cold winds blow. Hum, hum, hum goes a shelf like a song from the earth itself. Winds blow high and snow dunes shake. The frozen shelf starts to quake. Hum, hum, don't you fear? The Ross Ice Shelf is loud and clear. Snowy dunes on a slab so wide. The biggest floating ice on Earth's south side. The wind whooshes past with a mighty breeze. And the shelf hums low like a bumblebee. Hum, hum, hum goes the shelf like a song from the Earth itself. Winds blow high and snow dunes shake. The frozen shelf starts to quake. Hum, hum, don't you fear? The Ross Ice Shelf is loud and clear. Scientists listen with seismophones. Secret sounds and icy tones When the pitch goes up or it tumbles down It tells us how the ice is changing all around It's too low for some years But we speed it up And hear the shelf sing like a hiccuping pup It's nature's signal, a warning bell Helping us learn if the ice is well Hum, hum, hum goes the shelf Like a song from the earth itself Shelf stop. 
From frozen pufflings to fire alarms, that was one frosty adventure. Lyra showed us how powerful listening can be and reminded me that awe isn't always loud. Sometimes it hums, sometimes it helps, and sometimes it fixes your entire space station in under five seconds. Where will the next awe spark take us? Who knows? But until then, keep your ears open your tail wagon, and your heart full of wow. And remember, explorers, be curious, be kind, and above all, be galactic! From Earth to the stars, where wonder shines true, it sparks stars audio adventures with you.